It's Myth and Moonshine Night here at Skinny B. Johnson Stadium in International Speedway in Gristle Jock, Georgia, where you can hear 13 minutes live version of Freebird five times a game, twice on the hour. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Los Angeles Bulls go up against the Yorks of Hazard. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on the shoulder of Bricks Jr. Ugh. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. First and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. With kickers, you never know. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. not going down oh that was a big hit hey bricks i'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career ah uh, let's see about a quarter after three grim but my watch is a bit slow oh i love this dirty trick c 5 and he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball second down and ten Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his... Oh, he just got crushed. 
crushed. And it's first and ten. Nice pick up for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. down and the punter is warming up. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Man, these guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Did they jingle when they run? They clank, you moron. He said balls, not bells. You know, Bricks, I can't believe the defense didn't stop the run. Maybe they just wanted more shots at the QB. Yeah, got a point there. And it's first and ten. did he's coming out in the field now <laughs> and it's first and ten he's rumbling and stumbling he First and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. I'll just assume that to orcs, this is arousing somehow. Assume all you want and don't make it true. here just kicked the ball through the upright for God's sake the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty whichever First and ten.
second down in a mile. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Third down and forever. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And it's first and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. And he bursts into the end zone for the score! What a run! And well-known facts, Orch invented the war dance because people just in general assume everything they do is bloodthirsty and aggressive. And they are not wrong. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps outside. And if he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer Keska say, what the fu 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 fuck? And it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. down and forever. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. needs a miracle. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense, schmuck. 
And it looks like the offense is desperate for a first down. Now with the brain scrambler. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. I know, I hate those zebra men. And it's first and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> first down in a mile. through the defense on that play and picks up a nice chunk of yardage. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, no, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. <laughs> Third down and long. And a nice pass for a 10-yard gain. Uh, it's not a first down in the stat line, but it's a first down in our hearts. This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap attack. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. point with multiple interceptions the QB should just boom Gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Oh, look at this guy, pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And that'll bring up third and one. down give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off he is deadly in the open field bricks first down and one
Second down and two. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Oh, like the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Second down and ten. He is fighting for every ten yard pick up there. Normally a first down, but here, he's just making up ground. Yeah, like the way the commission... They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Roundup. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. We're back from the second half in a blowout. The teams line up for the kickoff. A lot of game is this close as the score indicates. Chilla, chilla. Yeah, man, I was hitting on the kettle now. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Yeah, he's a murderer! 
It's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? Third down and, well, good luck. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag, you gotta make that catch. If they don't pick it up here, they are giving a gift to the defense. That play was like the offense was playing rock, paper, scissors, and then how have they not killed him yet? He's wearing a new mink coat, for God's sake. He's seven layers of smarmy grin. Oh, did we get out of it? Couldn't pick up a first. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. And he's running like a moose right now. First down. First and ten. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. Oh, with the Brain Scrambler. First and two. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Yep, third grade. Just the Mary Margaret of our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles. It was just a regular knuckles. Second down in a very long. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. Third down in. The punter is warming up. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks, and he breaks away. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get 
get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. Pickup of about three on that play. Third and two. to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. And that'll be second and eight to go. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. A fake punt. If you can't trust a punter, who can you trust? Oh, man, that worm just ate the player alive. You got to steer clear of the pitch. You know, my sister had a tapeworm almost that big. Name was Frederick. I didn't know that they made great house pets. He just got to sleep in leather underpants. The little buggers like to burrow. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Second down, and we've got a tired of the quarterback tight spiral. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? third quarter and look folks I'll be honest I don't see a chance in hell in here and it's first and ten kaboom and that was a perfect pass and he scores handily Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good. Yeah, as expected, those are pretty much just guineas. 
The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Still, it ain't right, Win. It just ain't right. Perfect kick and recovery by the kicking team. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Oh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Well, thank you. I do my part. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry-up. Yeah, same as Bricks' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were... Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And it's first and ten. Footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. Ball. First down. And it's first and ten. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brains ran with a ball and didn't fall out. any mistakes here just kick the ball through the upright for god's sake it goes right through yeah like a double stuffed burrito from taco hell the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond First and ten. And this guy looks like Thor on a revenge bender right now. Six 
second down in a lot. Steam a gain of seven there. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Oh, no good. Now that punter's gonna find it, and he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me of that Tom Hank in the defense false metric all the time. <laughs> now they're mopping the players off the field. Literally. goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsing time. That's and that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. And that'll bring up second and one. takes their second time out hoping for a miracle i witnessed a miracle once a player was brought back from the dead it's not a miracle partner that's just how the mfl works oh with the punishing hit the defense takes its final time out they can't stop the clock anymore so they'll need to stop the offense no they couldn't pick up a first down so now they have to punt And he put all of his foot into that one. They let the punt drop, and it will be downed by the defense. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Uh, we all grim. Uh, he had it for a second there. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And the weather said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? 
There's no huddle. The offense called. You've got to catch that. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And that is one big first down. He needs to stop kissing his linemen and get back to the line of scrimmage. And it's first and ten. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. This guy's a brick should have. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, you're gonna... The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit shit. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. You know, in alien culture, dancing is a form of battle. And they celebrated their best citizens by making too many moves about them. It's a fascinating culture. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick.